Man, people are so stupid. They be trying to trick and convince everybody to believe what they want you to believe. And these clowns keep trying to make people believe that Jay Prince is a good person. Now I'm finna bust down they whole little conversation with facts and prove how stupid these two individuals are. Take a listen to this. Jay Prince, to be honest with you, he, he, whether you want to believe he OG or not, he OG. Especially down here. And you, I heard what, you know, you, I get it, you know. I heard what May said. I heard what Cameron said. I, I'm going to always have respect because I see where he took the music in the South. And I see where he took a lot of these different situations we deal with today in the South. So you consider him an OG. That's cool. That OG shit don't mean nothing. But what do mean something is you saying that he took the music business to a certain level in the South. What level? Name an artist from Rap A Lot Records that took it to that level. Because all the Rap A Lot artists is broke. And ain't nobody from the South want to sign with Jay Prince because they saw what he was doing to the artists that was already on Rap A Lot. Where is the Rap A Lot reunion tours and all of that stuff? It ain't none. Because he robbed, killed, and extorted the artists that he had. But that's the man you stand for. Come on, let's listen to your other homie real quick. Got my boy Mayhem the mentor, and Mayhem, I don't know what Mayhem gonna say because he he from the south like me. I, I don't know what's up, Mayhem. Man, I like this. First thing I want to shout out is to Mike Prince. Man, I don't really know Jay Prince, but I was incarcerated with Mike Prince. That's Jay Prince's little brother, man. Okay, you was in, you was incarcerated with Mike Prince. Mike Prince, man, on, on Cofield, man. But I just want to say, man, <clears throat> man, this man is highly worthy of respect, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like we don't fear. A lot of people, I he keep hearing this. We fear him. We fear him. No, man, we just respect people who really got a sincere track record, who got a consistent track record of being a man of their word. And and that's something that they don't want to believe in, man. They don't really understand, man. You know, I'm not originally from Texas, man. I had to move down here. But when I moved down here, I had to realize real quick, man, Texas niggas is a different breed. You okay. First thing first, this man been locked up for 17 years. This man don't even know Jay Prince. He know Mike Prince. Mike Prince had no power, no influence, or nothing going on in the South or rap a lot. Period. Period. But this man, he think he knows something about Jay Prince. He talking about he a man of his word. A man of his word? Jay Prince? You obviously don't know Jay Prince at all if you think he a man of his word. But let's continue. And okay. Houston is the biggest city over here, and Jay Prince has been maintaining his composure for 30 some, 40, 50 years, man. That's not no coincidence. He he got rappers, he got boxers, he's affiliated with Floyd May Mayweather. So this man talking about Jay Prince been maintaining for 30 some years. Of course he has. He owns all of his artists publishing. And he owns all of their masters. And this man is an extortionist. But you don't know that, right? You talking about this a man of his word. He been maintaining with everybody else's royalties. It's easy to maintain when you're taking people earnings. Talking about he got rappers and boxers and he was with Floyd. He was with Floyd. Floyd had to get away from him. Remember or you don't remember that they went into Floyd boxing gym and beat people with bats. But you don't know about that. 
man, let's keep it going. Well, you being a guy who you did like 17 years in prison. Was it 17? 17. 17 years in prison, and, and, and you know, I mean, when you were locked up all them years, did you hear? I heard about, what? I heard about Jay Prince. I heard about Scarface. I heard about Willie D. They talk about him in prison. They, he's, he's, he's serious. He's not no joke. But, I mean, you know, you people, you do your research. Research Birdman and Jay Prince. Research uh, uh, Floyd Mayweather. We, we search a ball and MJG, and, and a, yeah, he, he got a track record, man. He's a man of his word. He a man of his word. He got a track record. Yes, he does have a track record. Here's the track record. When the Ghetto Boys first went platinum, he would not pay Willie D. He wouldn't give Willie D his money. That's why Willie D left the Ghetto Boys. Did you know that? So he replaced Willie D with Big Mike. And guess what happened? He kept that track record going. He would not pay Big Mike. He wouldn't pay him. He tried to pull a gangster move and make Big Mike sign another contract, but Big Mike wasn't going. Then he tried to kill Big Mike. Shot the man house up. Jumped on Big Mike at the club. Then he turned around and did the same thing to Scarface. Face didn't want to sign again, and he had people circling Face's house every day. Face had to leave Houston, and Jetted left his fiance in Houston and stayed in Atlanta. How I know? Because I was with him. And you talking about Jay is that dude. He is that dude. He is that dude. That's his track record. He won't pay you. And if you won't sign, he's either going to beat you down by paying people to come get at you, or he's going to pay somebody to shoot your house up, or your car up, or you up. But let's keep going. Man, I just heard also that... Uh it's been a lot of flack because uh, uh, Shakur didn't want to sign uh, with the same people and they were looking at new other options and that's one of the main reasons why they had all this negative outpour about him trying to, you know, people trying to make him you know, uh, submit to a deal, man. And, and that's, that's not right, but man, it's just crazy that these people are steady trying to, you know, get, get an opportunity to, it seems like they want to send Jay Prince to jail. Like Charles so White, they talk all, they, they talk tough but really, they're so ready to call the police. People want to send Jake Prince to jail? Hell yeah! You ain't see what they did to take off? You ain't see what they did to take off? Hold on. What about Pimp C? You ain't see what they did to Pimp C? You ain't see what they did to Duke the Jeweler? Hold on. You ain't know what they did to Big Mike? Sitting in the jail, Jay Prince, the one that called the police on Big Mike. Big Mike wanted to go to war. Big Mike was standing on 10 toes by himself. Jay ain't want that heat, so he called the police. He the one that sent Big Mike to jail. Ask Big Mike. Ask anybody that was there with rap a lot. If they are a stand-up person, they'll tell the truth. Ask Willie D what happened to him. Tell Willie D to stop talking about Stephen A. Smith and tell everybody what Jake Prince been doing for years. Hell yeah, Jay Prince supposed to be in jail. And his sons in Scarface should be in there with him. Inside the mafia, man. I'm out.